बिफोर द हाउस एट जॉन्ड फॉर लंच येस्टरडे आई हैड स्टार्टेड स्पीकिंग ऑन द असेंशियल कॉमोडिटीज अमेंडमेंट बिल I have got here with me the bill as introduced in the statement of objects and reasons the government pointed out that in certain cases it might be necessary for them not to award punishment prescribed in the law as it exists at present but to forfeit a part of the deposit this relates to minor offenses under the essential commodities act i can quite understand this and generally therefore nobody would oppose this thing but the question that i wish to raise in this connection before the house is the manner in which this act is being implemented by the government and also by the state governments i mention the state governments because here is a measure which is sponsored by the ministry of food and agriculture and in regard to many aspects of which i believe the central government has concurrent jurisdiction but much is left to the states our experience has been specially in the state from which i come namely west bengal that this act is not implemented properly by the state authorities because of various connections of certain people high up with big business and others indulging in speculation holding and so on the result has been that whatever should be done had not been done the central government has got powers under this act to make rules to give directions to the states and to supervise the manner in which the particular measure aids is administered by the states we found that much that should have been done was not done what is the use of talking about punishment of the small fry certainly if they are guilty they have to be punished and the smaller the fry the minor should be the punishment i agree there but the point is that the act is not properly implemented we should like to know from the government as to how many cases have been started under the essential commodities act we know that food grains had been hoarded speculation had been indulged in stocks had been removed from one state to another surreptitiously by unfair and illegal methods these should have attacked attracted the attention of the essential commodities act the act was passed in this parliament with a view to putting a check on speculative rise in prices what it came to the question of practical implementation of this measure we found that the government had failed now government should say something about it when government seeks to amend an act it should tell us as to how the parent act which is proposed to be amended has been implemented is it the contention of the government that difficulty arises because this particular provision is not there in the act are government in trouble because they do not know how to deal with the smaller fries or is it because that those who are supposed to administer this measure at the state level 
at the district level have thought it fit to ignore it have thought it fit to bypass it if any measure of the central government was needed for controlling the price of food grains and ensuring the supply of essential commodities to the community it is the essential commodities act i would like the minister to say something on this i know that he was not here at the time when we passed this measure nor was he there when the essential commodities act was bypassed by many state governments in the past we had drawn the attention of the minister to this problem and that minister is now happily going to be the president of the uttar pradesh congress committee but here i would like to ask the minister who has stepped into his shoes as to what he is doing in order to see to the proper implementation of this act how many prosecutions have taken place the small people of course should be dealt with very mildly i agree and i support the measure but taking the law as it is today without this amendment it empowers government to deal very effectively so far as the provisions of the law go with the big traders wholesalers and profiteers i would like to know as to how they have dealt with them how many are in jail today how many have paid fine how many have suffered imprisonment how many licenses have been cancelled as a result of malpractices corruption profiteering and so on all of which are provided for under this bill we are entitled to know take us into your confidence in regard to this matter i say from whatever knowledge we have that very few have been prosecuted under this act